But well, we are following breaking news tonight about a candidate in the Sebastian County judges race who faces a felony abuse of public trust charge. Yeah, we were the first to tell you about this on Friday. We want to bring in 4029's Brett Rains joining us live in Fort Smith on the latest. Hey, Brett. Well, guys, with early voting underway here in Sebastian County, we've learned that on Friday, Sebastian County judge candidate Denny Altus was arrested and, and he turned himself into jail and he was released just a short time later. I think that I have the, the executive experience to run the county. That's Denny Altus when we spoke to him at a candidate forum on March 21st. He's one of three Republicans on the May 24th ballot. According to jail records we obtained through a Freedom of Information request, Altus turned himself into the Sebastian County Sheriff's Department Friday afternoon, May 6th. He was booked in the Sebastian County Detention Center at 225. Jail records show he was released about 21 minutes later at 246 on a signature bond, which means he didn't have to pay anything. According to online court records posted on May 6th, Altus will be charged with abuse of public trust. According to Arkansas law, abuse of public trust includes a person who solicits, accepts, or agrees to accept on behalf of anyone, any benefit or understanding that the other person will be appointed to a public servant or nominated as a candidate for office. The law states abuse of public service is a Class C felony if the value of the benefit is $5,000 or more, but less than $25,000. If convicted, the charge carries a sentence of three to 10 years in prison. As of Monday, no court records have been made available to the public, only that the offense occurred on February 21st. Special Prosecutor Emily White would only say that an order to limit pretrial publicity exists, but she would not send us that order, and neither would the circuit clerk's office. Altus is running against Republicans Jeff Turner and Steve Holtz. Since there are no Democrats running, the winner will be the next Sebastian County judge who will oversee county employees and operations. We've got a, like a $50 million budget, 500 employees. I've worked hard over the past 40 years building businesses that will help and uh, support Sebastian County, the uh, people that live in Sebastian County. And citing that motion to suppress pretrial publicity today, Altus told me that he was not able to talk about that charge against him, but he did say that he's still in the running to be the next Sebastian County judge. Now coming up tonight at six, we'll hear from the other two candidates in the race. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.